Joining us via Skype is a Nigerian resident in Italy, Daniel Ewika. Thank you very much for joining us, Daniel. Thank you, Felicity. How stringent is the lockdown around you? Okay, uh, right here, the movement is uh, very restricted. The train stations are barely working, though there are a few buses that are going around. Uh, people are only allowed to go around only when you want to go shopping or there's a need for you to go to the bank or for there's a need for you to go to the, uh, the pharmacy. You know, you're not allowed to go to the hospital. Um, but if you must go out, you must have a pass. Otherwise, if you don't have any good reason for going out, the police will uh, might, might arrest you or give you a sanction or you might have a jail term. But generally, everywhere is calm. Okay. What measures are in place for foreigners like yourself during this lockdown? Is there any palliatives available? Yes. Yes, the, the, the government, through the uh, local government offices, uh, decides that uh, if you are working, you know, it's a, it's a certain percentage of what you're supposed to earn in a, in a month will be given to you. And for those that own uh, businesses, you know, they can go also go to the uh, same local government office, something will be given to them to help them survive. And then uh, you also have another office called, it's like a Catholic church, where... People who uh, do not have food can go and pick up something on a daily basis that can help them. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, we can hear you. Though the line went off a little. What is the reality of work now? Are you still able to work virtually during the lockdown? No, no. Almost all, all factories or companies are closed down, except those that are like except supermarkets, except supermarket pharmacy, uh, or those that are producing foods, every other every other company is all shut down. Everybody is asked to sit down at home. So practically, it's only few persons that are working, those that are permitted to on essential services. Okay, so how do you keep your spirits up, especially being so far away from home? Yeah, it's not uh, it's not easy. I must tell you, it's not easy. We know here the, the level of fear is not much, but we are basically scared for those that are at home, considering uh, the, the level of uh, uh, the sanitary condition and the health, condi health condition. So we just pray to God Almighty to keep them all alive. But practically, everyone is scared. Okay, so your, your thoughts and prayers are with us here in Nigeria, I guess. Yes, yes. Thank you very much for sharing your time with us and bringing us up to speed. Thank you very much. All right, we'll go for a short break and when we come back, we'll bring you more news to stay with.